Hey, 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 guys, it's your girl, Joyette, coming to you guys with this mastermind moment. Yes, it's me, it's me, it's me. Um, I am coming to tell you guys a little bit about Square. So I was setting up this Square account for one of my um, sisters. And so um, she said it was okay for me to share with you guys um, a little bit of the information of how to um, go in and edit once I set it up. So it's set up pretty much everything um, for you guys, but I'm going to show you how to go in and add your inventory on here and also how to update the site once it's already up and running. So I do want to share with you guys something that we do, um, how we do our inventory. So this say it's a necklace, you know, it's already outside of the box and everything like that, but we do take and cut the little label off and put a little piece of tape on here so you guys can see you know this label is on there um you don't want to cover up where it says um you know that it's meant <laughs> it's meant for 14 years and, and up so you definitely want to make sure that you don't cover um that it's available to take off so people can see that part so that's just my um little uh, disclosure on there but that part being said i'm going to actually go ahead and show you guys my screen so you guys can actually see how to go in so this is her um this is just a site this is what it looked like to get to the dashboard uh, and this is where you will actually go to import your inventory all right so this has nothing to do with your actual store your store is in another location i'm gonna show you where that is but this is where you want to go you want to go under items okay under items um i already have the category set up and everything so we're gonna go to items and you can go here i am going to show you i was going to say it but i'll show you how to get your categories so you go to categories and her categories are already set up i set them up but if you want to add a new category you can go and click on create category and put the name in there the way i set this up was by doing um bracelets aries jury well jury was already in there so i need to delete that one um but men slash urban wear um necklaces rings starlet shimmer and then the z collection 2019 and then she could add um the z collection 2020 and as the years go on she could add the rest of them on there and all you have to do is um click on save okay i'm just going to exit out of that because we already have our um, bracelets and all of our categories on there that we want so to add to your library all you have to do and there are some pieces that's already added in here but the correct way to add it is just create an item and the way that I like to do mine is I like to add my picture first. And I'm going to tell you why. Because when you download your pictures from your paparazzi website, okay, when you download your pictures from your paparazzi website, you need to put a folder. Um, it's two different ways that you could do it. Either you could put it into a folder by the date of the order, which is how I like to do it. <laughs> or you could do fill up version by putting them in a folder by... Um, um, alphabetical order so he has 26 folders um, he got a folder for a b c d all the way down to z and um, each item he just dropped drop those pictures inside of those folders um, the way that I used to do it when I first started before he actually took over the inventory is I would go and I will just drop them if I order today I will set a folder for today's date and drop my whole pictures and all that stuff in there so go to edit here for your picture this is how I do mine um, for square when I have my square account and then you just go to your to your order so I am gonna go to my order and the way I've set it up, like I said, depending on your date of your orders, um, I'm just trying to see how I've set mine up on here because this is all, oh, okay, I just do these. So here, that's not a good example. Hold on one second, guys. Okay, I'm just going to do fill up. Okay, here's one new order. So as you can see, this is one of my orders. Um, actually, I just dumped them all in this folder here. And you can see this is how Paparazzi displays it. Okay. And this has the name 
in the quantity. See, it says QTY3. Okay, so that tells you how many of those items you receive. So what I like to do is click one time on the name. That's it, click one time. Click a second time to highlight it. Okay, hit Control C to copy it. Click on the picture, double click on the picture, not the name. So there you go, your picture came up. And I like to use a picture with the person in there. If you like to use a picture with the white background, that's up to you, however you want to do it. But this is how I do is go over here into the name and hit control V, which is paste. Okay, that tells me I have three. So I'm just going to go and delete this here and delete this stuff in the, the front of it. And I already have my name. Now you can leave the dashes in there. I like to take my dashes out. So that beats having to type all of that stuff in there. And if you want to um, capitalize the first letters, you can. It's up to you. Now, this category will be bracelets. Okay. And in the description, what you can do, you could go and do a search for um, cowgirl cavalier um, orange. You could, you know, definitely do another window, do a search for it um, if you want to. And that'll take you back to paparazzi website. And then from here, you could just copy the, um, the actual information that's on that page, the description. Because you definitely want to have a description. You always want to put a description in here. Um, you don't want to leave this blank, okay? Because this is going to help people find your product. All right. And then you definitely, if you want, if you could just type in here and add um, nickel, nickel free and lead free. Okay. Add that in there and you could throw paparazzi in there. I like to put paparazzi at the beginning of my thing up here. Paparazzi accessories because this help people find us. I'll find your product rather. Okay. And then um, it has the color already there, orange, because this is going to help with people doing a search on your website. Okay. Um, and so the location I'm, put, I'm leaving there, you could put the location, depending on how you set yours up. I'm going to put this in the online store. All right. And take it out of the other location. And there we have it. I'm going to save it. So this is for her online store. Yes, I want taxes. She wants taxes. We always want to charge taxes because we have to pay for taxes. So we want to collect that money back. <laughs> All right. So um, we're going to leave that. So the prices you're going to put in there is $5. Your SKU, which is your screw number, is right here in the, in the description. You're going to just copy that and paste that down here. Okay. And later on, we'll come back and tell you why you want this in here because you can actually use a handheld scanner and scan the back of your um, the back of your jury that I showed you earlier and use this and that'll come up. But it won't come up if you don't have anything in the SKU. All right. Um, here it says stock. Now you can fill out your stock. How, how many you want to track it because you want to tell them how many you have. All right. So it says tracking. I like that. And your stock that you receive. And there you go. I don't know why it's not letting me put how many items I have in here. That's being weird, y'all. Okay. Why is it not letting me put my current stock in here? Okay, there it is. Okay, well, <laughs> hold on, y'all. I don't know why it's not letting me put it in here for some reason.
edit per location. Available at one location, stock action. Okay, weird. All right, so inventory recount. So that's what I'm going to put it as, and I'm going to say uh, we had three. Because remember, it said that they have three. I, I'm going to turn my alerts off unless it is... I'm going to turn alerts off. You don't want the alerts on there if it's a new release. Because new releases, we already know, once it gets sold out, it's gone. It's not coming back. <laughs> so you could put an alert on there if it's for like a blockbuster item. Um, so once your blockbusters get to like five or whatever the low amount that you want, that you want to reorder, then I will put an alert on those. But you don't want to put an alert on all of your new inventory, your new releases, because once it's gone, it's gone. It doesn't matter. You know, once you run out, you run out and then hit done. So there you have, you have three of those bracelets um, and you have the S, the S, the SKU number on there as well. All right. Now, online checkout, create a link to allow customers to go straight to checkout for this item. Customers can select very uh, variations for this item. I'm not going to put that on there because I want them to continue to shop for other stuff as well. So we're just going to leave that unchecked for now. Go back up. Make sure you have everything filled out. Just that simple. Uh, you're going to hit saved. And it is in there. All right. So that is how you actually go in and add a category or add a um, item in your category, okay? I will see you in the next video.